Well, here we go. It's the 1st of February, and me, just like everybody else, is getting ready to go fishing. Uh, fishing is on a lot of people's minds right now, but it's still really cold. You know, everybody thinks February is springtime, but to be honest, for us in the south, typically the first, you know, the last week of January, the first week or two of February is actually some of the coldest, nastiest, wettest weather that we have all year. But you combine that with the days are starting to get longer. And these fishes desire to want to start to stage to spawn is happening right now. They're starting to kind of leave those really deep winter haunts. And I'm not saying they're up there in the dirt shallow, but they're starting to progressively make their way, you know, towards that. And this is one of my absolute favorite times of the year. And the reason why is because the fish this time of the year, it can become very predictable. But all y'all know I make a lot of crankbaits, a lot of different crankbaits, and people are asking me all the time, you know, hey, which one's your favorite and which one's this? And I like every single one of them um, for different scenarios. But two of my favorite crankbaits for this time of the year, the water's still cold, but the fish are starting to kind of migrate their way back and get set up on stuff where you can catch them, you know, in that 10 foot or less of water. Two of my favorite, absolute favorite black labels for this time of the year, for the right now, is the 38 and the little cliffy and the reason these two are two of my absolute favorites for right now is because both of these baits have a really tight action they they both swim relatively tight and that's really key this time of the year and the other thing about these baits is really key both of these baits fish really well on smaller line um and they get relatively deep you know the little cliffy and the 38, I can fish both of these baits comfortably, you know, without pushing the limits of line size in that, you know, six to eight foot of water. And if I need to get it into nine or maybe even 10, I can go to a real small, like eight pound test line or even a real small braid. But these are the two crankbaits that right now, you know, are, are two of my top choices. And as the water warms up, I'm gonna go to baits that are a little more aggressive. But for right now, when the water's cold, you're in the very beginning time period of that pre-spawn phase the 38 and the little cliffy are the two that are my top choices and the one other thing i will tell you this time of the year these fish are are not super aggressive you're going to get a lot of fish that don't just totally inhale the bait this is the time of the year where it's really important to me to use a really really good high quality treble hook uh, this is the bkk spear this is kind of a new hook for the u.s market I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with it, but this is the Spear 21 SS, and it's a round bend, fine wires, what I like to classify kind of as a finesse treble hook. Um, these are some of the sharpest, strongest fine wire treble hooks that I've ever personally seen. Uh, I'm really excited to be part of this deal with these guys. I think they've got an incredible product, and it's really important for me right now to, to not use the EWG hooks. Even though I sell all my bite level baits with these EWG hooks and they have their place too. And we're gonna talk about that in another video. Right now, I really want these round bends. And typically for these two baits, only the little cliffy, I put a size five and the 38, I like to put a size four. But get you some get you some smaller line, you know, 10 pound test, 12 at a max this time of year. That small line is really key to let that bait get deep. Take these flat sided, tighter action crank baits and go fish places that you know fish are gonna stage, go fish the mouth of bays that have a good creek channel and fish the little creek channel turns or little channel swing banks things like that where you know those fish are staging they're leaving that winter halt they're in that transition time period and this is a time of year that you can just about know for sure you're going to be able to go fishing and put some fish in the boat if you target the right things with the right baits